what I wore in Paris. What we did, what we saw, a try on in Cezanne, Galleries Lafayette and Palen. All my outfit ideas, plus all the beautiful pieces of clothing that had to come home with me. It's a special edition, full to the brim of Parisian style. Paris was just amazing. I mean, absolutely stunning. Even the fact that I have pretty much lost my voice couldn't possibly dampen our spirits. We had such an incredible time. So I'm really looking forward to sharing everything we did with you today. Also to mention, a portion of this video has very kindly been sponsored by the Scandinavian watch brand Nord Green. They have some amazing gift ideas for Christmas, so I shall tell you all about that a little bit later in this video. But first, in my slightly husky voice, let me show you Parisian style outfit idea number one. On our way to Galleries Lafayette, we stopped for coffee and hot chocolate for the boys and they had the most amazing croque monsieur. The Christmas decorations in Galleries Lafayette were just stunning. They had this giant Christmas tree in the center and this Santa that sort of looks like he's flying at the top. It was amazing. Naturally, the first port of call was to have a look at some beautiful handbags. I found this gorgeous one at APC. I like it in the brown, but also the black I thought was really chic. And then I popped over to Bottega Veneta. Love those pink and blue cassette bags. Sadly, Saint Laurent were doing that silly rope fake guest list thing when there were only like two people in the shop. So I figured I would look at their new collection another time. Then it was upstairs to an amazing shoe department, Jimmy Choo, Dodge and Cabana, etc. Um, I stopped by Isabel Morant because, to be honest, I can never resist, at least a little peek. Love her ankle boots, I think they're amazing. And there's that giant Santa there right in the center of the store. I picked up a few different items to try and store, starting with this classic Anina Bing jumper. Now this is the one that she's done in collaboration with Terry O'Neill. Um, I absolutely love that print. I've been wanting to try this one for quite a while and I love the fit. I think that's perfect. Then I tried on this beautiful chunky knit jumper from the Frankie shop. Now, as you can see, it's quite an oversized fit. There's a nice shape to that sleeve there. The knit is beautiful, actually. I believe it's 90% merino wool. The lighting is particularly bad in this changing room, but I would say this is the clearest indication of the color. It's a really beautiful brown tone. Another chunky knit, but this time from a brand called Nanushka. This one felt amazing to wear, actually. Super snugly and a really interesting take on the classic cable knit. It's very oversized, as you can see, but I thought it would look great styled with a nice pair of blue denim jeans. Still high-end, but a bit more reasonable now to a brand called Rodisher. Now, I'm really sorry, I have no idea how to pronounce it, but it is a beautiful brand. And I found this gorgeous jumper, which I thought was very original, with that lovely detailing across the chest there. That one's retailing at 265 euros. So definitely still high end, but I do believe you're getting your money's worth with this one. There you can see I also tried on a really nice pair of their jeans. They are quite high waisted and very slightly flared. Really nice shape actually down the leg. I shall link to their brand in the description box below actually because they have a whole host of beautiful pieces that I would very happily add into my own wardrobe. As you can imagine, we didn't escape Galleries Lafayette empty-handed. Nothing for me, actually, but all three of the boys managed to find a few things that they've promised me faithfully they are happy for me to put away for Christmas presents. And thinking of Christmas present ideas, that brings me to Nord Green. Now I mentioned a couple of weeks ago that I bought David one of their watches last Christmas, I believe, and he wears it every single day. So I thought this year for Christmas, I would buy one for my stepdad too. Now he does very kindly bless him, watch all of my videos. He hasn't quite worked out how to comment or like them yet, but at least he's watching. So I've had to make him promise faithfully that he wouldn't watch this one so it doesn't ruin the surprise. But this is the beautiful watch that I went for. Now he's got quite a classic style. So I went for the Pioneer watch with white dial and brown leather strap. You know I love Nord Green's watches, so I knew whatever I chose, it was going to be lovely. Everything is beautifully made, designed by the world-renowned Jakob Wagner, plus everything arrives in these beautiful gift boxes. It's the perfect ready-made present. If you're sending items elsewhere in the world, you can even add gift wrapping into your shopping cart and have it delivered directly to them. And if you do decide to purchase, don't forget to use my discount code JESS at checkout to receive 15% off your order. As you will see in this video with everything I wore in Paris, I actually bought a couple of my Nord Green watches with me. A woman needs options. Both work for all occasions. They're just so timeless. 
So if you're still on the hunt for that perfect Prezi this Christmas, don't panic, there's still time. I've added a link in the description box below to Nordgreen's website so you can have a look at their collection in full. And I would highly recommend this brand either buying for yourself or as a Christmas present, they're always really beautiful quality. Another cold but beautifully sunny day in Paris and it was off to see the Eiffel Tower. As you can see, I'm all wrapped up in my lovely wool coat that I bought from COS recently. And underneath there, I have that lovely pastel blue cardigan that I got from Cezanne. We did so much walking and hopping on and off the metro that trainers on my feet became a bit of a running theme, but I think it works with this casual chic kind of look. I've been to Paris many times before for work, but I never had the chance to do all the tourist things. So with the boys, it really was the perfect opportunity. And as you can imagine, the Eiffel Tower didn't disappoint. It's been wonderful getting to know the Parisian brand Cezanne over the last few years, but this is the first time that I've had the pleasure of meeting them. So I was invited to their flagship store to have a lovely try-on session before the store opened, which was such a treat. Seeing the store all decorated beautifully for Christmas, meeting the lovely staff, and later witnessing the insanely long queues of people wanting to purchase their collections, I really felt I got a better insight into who the brand actually are. It kind of felt like a family affair, with an expanse of these dedicated followers, me included, who really champion what they do. It was honestly really lovely to see. So the first item I tried, as you can see with what I'm wearing today, one that had to come home with me, is this beautiful Accru cardigan. I tried the cardigan on first with this pair of darker jeans. I really love the fit of these. Fairly high-waisted, but not uncomfortably so, and with a really nice flare to the hem that feels pretty flattering. I then tried them on in the slightly lighter shade of blue, but in the end it was the darker ones I actually went for, as I thought they were the nicest on my shape. One of my lovely subscribers mentioned the other week that she bought the Michelle jacket that I have in the navy in black velvet, but by the time I went to buy it, it had completely sold out. So you can imagine my absolute joy when I spotted the very last one in store, and it was in my size too. It had to come home with me. I absolutely love it. I'm collecting Suzanne Bratton tops, I know, but they're just so great for everyday wear. They're always one of the hardest working pieces in my wardrobe. So this is the new shade that they call Rosewood that I very happily added into my wardrobe. It's got the same vintage style buttons and I went for the medium this time so it felt a little bit more oversized. You might have seen in my videos that I have the Leo coat in winter green. Well I thought you might like to see what the Accru looks like in person too. Going true to size as the fit is naturally oversized in itself and has a great relaxed shape to it. Then those with a BDI will have noticed the vintage blue version hanging on my rail today. Another very kind gift from Suzanne. I do register how very lucky I am to be gifted pieces like this and I shall enjoy styling this into lots of outfit ideas. Then to a little more comfort for my poor feet after all that walking. And it's actually the first time I've tried Suzanne's trainers. They have that little something special about them that they would polish even a really casual outfit. I tried on the blue check scarf in store, which is beautiful, but in the end I opted colour-wise for the light grey version instead, as I thought that would probably go with more pieces in my wardrobe. It was such a lovely morning out. I was completely spoilt rotten, I know, but very much appreciated. Mornings in Paris were my favourite, I think, especially as we were so lucky with the weather. And to say it was December, it was really quite mild, so my outfit ideas didn't need to be quite so wrapped up as I would be in England. So this was another day where I'm wearing my needle cord flares, striped cashmere roll neck from Love, Sweat and Tees, and the navy version of the jacket I showed you before. I really like my sunnies too. They're super affordable at just £40, and I just love that slightly cat's eye shape to them. If I wasn't already feeling incredibly spoiled after that shopping trip to Cezanne, I was then very kindly invited to one of my other favourite French brands, Pelen, to have a little look around their store. It was actually really nice to see their vision for the brand in their own environment, not just with their beautiful handbags, which we know and we love, 
but their attention to detail with their store as well. They'd had it designed by architects so that the curves of the store matched the curves and the shapes of the handbags. Even that Christmas tree was made from swatches of their leather and suede that they used for their handbags. So very creative, I loved it. So either open. So slightly smaller than the Le Cabas. Yeah, slightly smaller, but kind of a different design. And it can be worn either open like that. Oh, that's beautiful. I did feel like a kid in a candy store and it was nigh on impossible to pick a favorite. Everything is just so beautifully made in all my favorite shades and for all different types of occasions. They also very kindly offered if I'd like to choose a handbag while I was there and I knew I couldn't resist the new in berry. But which color? It was between the black with the gold chain or the gray with the leather strap. I ummed and ahmed for ages which one to choose, but in the end, I went for this one, which I've kept in the box so you can see it in all its glory. So I went for the grey with the leather strap. How beautiful is this handbag? I absolutely love it, and I know that that's going to go with so many different outfit ideas. I think my reasoning for going with this one over the black one with the chain was that that one felt maybe just ever so slightly more for evening wear, whereas this one felt a little bit more for the day. And as I'm not exactly out out an awful lot, I thought I would probably get the most use out of this one. So I'm very chuffed with my new handbag and I'm really looking forward to sharing all the different ways I would style it. Naturally, I had to wear all my new pieces the next day. So here I am admiring a beautiful view in Paris in my lovely new blue coat. On this particular day, we headed to Champs-Élysées to have a look at the Arc de Triomphe. We popped into various coffee shops along the way and even had a mooch in Dior, which just blew me away. But I was actually too scared to film in there. I thought I'd get told off, so sadly there's no footage. Left on our to-do list was to visit the Louvre, so I wore my dotty blouse, grey straight jeans and herringbone blazer. I finished this look with my classic numero un handbag and ankle boots for a change on my feet. Just look at that sunshine. A beautiful winter's day in Paris. Later, when it got colder, I added my wrap grey coat to this outfit idea, which I thought worked really nicely too. Another day, another outfit idea, but this time going for super, super comfy. As a side note, this is the most amazing train station in Paris, where the walls are lined in copper sheets and they have porthole peepholes dotted about. I even managed to get a quick picture when the platform was quiet. I know throughout this video I have gush, but I just can't help it. Paris was honestly just wonderful. We loved every second of it and I really hope you've enjoyed coming along with me. Not only seeing what I wore and what we did and a bit of a try on, but hopefully getting a feeling of what it was really like to be in Paris in winter. It was a really special trip that I know has made a big impression on my boys. A big thank you again to Nord Green for sponsoring a portion of today's video. Don't forget to click the link in the description box below to view their collection in full, either as a present for yourself or perhaps for somebody else for Christmas. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you've enjoyed this video and I'm looking forward to chit-chatting with you all in the comments section below. Take care.